History 9, short movie review. In 1981, a, an alien mothership stopped dead right over Johannesburg in South Africa. After three months of no activity, human beings cut a hole in the ship and found millions of malnourished aliens in there. They transported them down to Earth and it was discovered that they really couldn't, they, they were quite helpless. They've been in District 9 for about two decades now, and this is, you know, people are getting tired of having them living so close by, and they're, they're very, excuse me, scared of them. So they are going to be moved to District 10, and the leader of the operation to have them evicted is Mikis, who is a bit of a jerk, although the our sympathies might just our, our feelings towards him might just shift over the course of the movie once or twice. And yeah, I'd say that is about what I should give away of the plot. Some something happens that Mikas did not expect. This movie showcases every major atrocity that human beings have committed against one another, in this case with the victims being aliens, and it really creates debate about that. Our thoughts are very much brought to the lights of the Nazis and apartheid, which in part inspired the film. The director grew up during apartheid in South Africa, and in fact most of the cast and crew are from South Africa. There's like one American actor in the film. And it does not feel forced or rushed in showing all this horrible cruelty, and it doesn't feel you, you could call it manipulative, but really, all it's, it's not preachy, and if it's pointing towards something, it's just saying that we should treat others well, we shouldn't abuse them, and yeah, I kind of agree with that. And it's not as one-sided as, 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 say, Avatar, which I do like. It, the, the aliens are not these perfect beings, and you know, mistakes are made on both sides, and not all of the human beings are complete jerks either. There's a lot of exposition, but it's very smoothly delivered, in part due to the interesting visual approach of part faux documentary and part handheld that has this sort of POV feeling and it's, it's quite immersive, it really puts you right there in the action. And in fact, the action is great. It's incredibly close and intense, and not to mention awesome. It all, always feels very real, and you can always really follow what goes on. This is the best handheld photography I've ever seen. The acting is phenomenal. Charlton Copley did so great in this movie that he got the part of Murdoch in the A Team movie a year later, you know, alongside Liam Neeson and Bradley Cooper. That really tells you just how fantastic this this was his first feature acting role. And Neil Blomkamp had not directed a feature film before this, but when Halo fell through in 2009, Peter Jackson handed him 30 million and said, "Go make a movie," and this is what he made. And it's, it's got a very twisted sense of humor, it's highly credible, and yeah, it, it just it makes you think about some of the uglier sides of humanity without only being depressing. It can also make you laugh, and it does genuinely make you care. Alongside all the inhumanity of our species, there is a lot of humanity as well, including in some of the alien characters. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.